Okay, welcome back to another tutorial here with Typo3. In this tutorial we're going to look at what I call the copy paste and cleanup workflow. And this has to do with copying text from existing documents, Word or OpenOffice, and pasting them into the rich text editor in the back end of Typo3 for page content or for news items or blog articles and things like that. And it has to do with removing all the extraneous kind of uh, formatting elements and tags that those documents add into the to the file when we paste them into the rich text editor which aren't needed for display on a web page so the first thing we're going to do is log into our back end and then we're going to go to a page and create a new text element then we're going to copy and paste in from a, a document I prepared and then we're going to see the before code and then we're going to clean it up and see the after code and we'll see that's a little bit more friendly and acceptable for what we want to want to display and, and how we would like it to display on the back end in typo 3 so let's go there now. Okay, so I've already logged in. And uh, so we're going to use the page module here for this. So we'll go up and click page. And for my purposes today, I'm going to use the about page on our demo site. And I'm going to create a new element. It can go anywhere. And I'm going to just pick a regular text element. So I'm just going to call this demo article because that's what I'm doing. And for our purposes today, I just need to make this hidden because we don't want to display it. I'm going to click on text. And here's our rich text editor. And I'm going to go flip to our existing document. I'm going to copy all the text. And I'm going to come back and paste it in. So we're going to do that now. So here's the text I'm going to use. This is an open office document. I'm going to go Control or Apple A and then control apple c to copy all of that and i'm going to go back to my rich text editor i'm going to go control or the apple key for the mac users and click and then while holding that down hit v to paste it in you think that looks pretty good um, but when we go to look at the actual html source code in it what we see are there's some extraneous tags in here that we really don't need um, the span language english and those kind of go throughout the whole document and for you know a longer article it, it can be kind of frustrating going and try and find them all and then maybe miss one so we click toggle our source off again what we have within the rich text editor is a remove formatting option here where we'll just choose we want to clean the formatting remove formatting from all of the text in the editor right now and I want to remove all of the MS Word formatting. I'm going to click OK. And at first glance, not much has changed. But when we go back into our source code, we scroll back up, we'll see it's removed all those extra um, formatting tags and information from the actual HTML in the code, which is just a lot cleaner, um, reduces your document size by a little bit but just makes it easier and it's more search engine friendly when and friendly in general standards wise to have all that gone and done and then we can just click save and close the document and we're done and then we can go to our page in the front end we're going to click show come up here come down and here we can see all our text that we just pasted into the page looking very good and very friendly for our web browsers and users in the front end. So that's it for the workflow. It's very simple and it just makes things a little bit cleaner in the back end and in the source code for your pages in Typo3. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was useful.